आई विल टेक नाउ द ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्लैनेट मून मून सेज आई वॉज रेस्टिंग इन द ओशन आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी विद द पीपल अराउंड मी इवन द अर्थ वॉज देयर आई कुड सी द फिशेज द क्रॉकोडाइल्स पर्ल्स एवरीथिंग अराउंड मी एंड आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी लिविंग देयर बाई द ग्रेस ऑफ माई ग्रैंड फादर लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा द क्रिएटर बिकॉज आई वॉज सन ऑफ वन very revered sage atri who in his own chariot moved around 21 times around the earth so that the churning could take place it can be the timing 21 in vedas it is called the manvantar means as many times the evolution of earth has taken place all of a sudden i saw the tremors and that was the churning of the ocean on the back of the tortoise snake as a rope i came out like the full moon very beautiful and bestowed upon me the medicinal values of the ayurveda a medical science in the vedic philosophy when i was placed there i was given as a part of the angels my mind was that of the angels and i was considered as a angel what happened after that i was married to 27 daughters of a king known as daksh all were very beautiful and these 27 daughters are considered as the constellations 360 degrees symbolically is very beautiful i used to live longer with her and i was not even going to the other daughters my father in law got angry and said you will suffer from tuberculosis i became weak lord shiva pardon me when i asked for the excuses he said okay 15 days you will go into the darker side and 15 days brighter side of the moon is explained after that what happened when i got free from the curse of my father in law i started drinking too much i started roaming around the different women that was my biggest weakness alcoholic loving good clothes looking beautiful women used to get attracted to me but due to the curse of my father in law the king daksh i normally fell sick very quickly what happened one day i saw the beautiful wife tara named tara of my guru jupiter i got attracted towards her in the beginning she didn't weigh me too much but i got very close to her due to my beauty and my attraction she got attracted towards me and i kidnapped the wife of my teacher jupiter i took her away my grandfather lord brahma the creator was very angry with me he said immediately return the wife of a teacher and it's a sin you have done a sin even i consider today myself as i am the most sinner in the world that curses me always and makes me weep and some spots on my face also when the wife of my teacher was returned one demon virupaksh named i was in his shelter so my mentality becomes like a demon when she was returned i never told anyone that she is carrying my child that was another a big sin always chases me when i move in the zodiac after the return of the wife of my teacher jupiter i came to know one day that she has given birth to a child i knew he was my child i went to jupiter asked give my son back he was amazed looking at me with inimical eyes but i fought for it went to the angels gods asked for the custody of my child i snatched my child was very angry with me never wanted to see me again but i didn't bother for her i snatched my son I took the shelter of a demon again Virochan to avoid the war my grandfather Lord Brahma the creator 
intervened and named him as Mercury, Buddha, and doled upon him all the qualities of all the planets in him and said he will always remain the prince of the zodiac. I was happy with it that my son is prince of the zodiac. When I came in the zodiac, I was given the company of the angels, the gods. I became very close to the king of the gods named Indra. Indra means Indri. Indri means your heart, very close to the heart. There I got the education of Ayurveda, the medicine, botany and water and known as a Brahmin means foremost worshipable person in the world. As the Indra was a king, so in his kingdom there were a lot of dances going on. I fell to alcohol there and also by some of their beautiful dancers I was offered even nectar. So I became immortal on this earth. Throughout my life I felt the guilt. I never mind going to the gods, thinking like them, behaving like them and also to the demons like Virochan, the deadly person, even killing and behaving in unnatural way. I always try to find out excuses of my sins. As I have told you that I didn't feel ashamed, I didn't feel shameless when I met Jupiter, my teacher, when my son was born. I took an excuse. I thought he deserves it because he did the same when the Lord Vishnu wanted to win over one demon called Chalandar. He was almost immortal and Lord Shiva cannot kill him unless the chastity of his wife was tarnished and Guru Braspati Jupiter helped Lord Vishnu to tarnish the chastity of Chalandar's wife. I always find false excuses, go to the past birth, becomes superstitious sometimes and excuses and satisfy my mind, satisfy my heart by my false excuses. When I become angry, I can see turmoils on the earth. When I see my motherland, my mother sea, I almost forgot her that I was in a lap, I was with the earth, I was with the pearls, I was with all the mammals in the sea. I almost forgot. But when I see my mother, and no, I cannot meet her. On my fullest moon, bright moon, when I am on my full cry, I wish to meet my mother. And I can see the mother with her open arms trying to come to me. But Lord Shiva took me farthest away and I can't meet. But slowly my mother gets calmed down as my powers go down towards waning, towards the darker side of my characteristic. Due to the curse of my father-in-law, of course, I did yagnas to pardon me and come to the present existence where the Lord Shiva said, you will be waning, you will be rising, brighter and the darker side. But try to understand my mind. Every moment I repent, I look bright, I look happy. The water wants to meet me, the sea water, my mother wants to meet me when I am in full swing. The vegetation, the medicines, everything grows up when I am rising. But what's in my heart? I am always sad, always thinking why I have done it, but does not explain anybody. Though. I am with my 27 beautiful wives. Due to the wish of the Lord Shiva, because he could not fully pardon me, divided me into two pakshas, faces. But I myself 
turned due to my mental state into 16 different stages every moment. 16 stages in the moment, in a day, in a month, in a year. And timing given was the pal vipal ghati, so on with the micro analysis where my mind changes every moment. That is what I am. Thousands of people look at me, some pray me, but when they see the scar on my face, they remember my curses. When they remember my curses, I weep inside, does not explain, laughs always, always smiles. This is how the epic says the moon is. But can I explain astronomically and astrologically what does this story mean? Naturally, when the zodiac came into existence, probably nobody knew where the earth was. Everything has come out of the water. And we all are the byproduct of the water mammals. And in the science oceanology, we equate every person with the habits of an animal or the mammal in one or the other way. If I moon explain, it changes every moment. It has got 16 colors, means 16 times it changes its phases. These are explained as the phases of the moon, the waning moon and the rising moon, and ascending and the descending nodes of the moon. 27 wives may be depicted as the nakshatras, the constellation through its passes. And in 28 days, it takes one round of the earth and 360 degrees, it takes one year, the moon year, which is called as the lunar year. The moon denotes vegetation on the earth, medical science on the earth. When you sow a seed, the sprouting take place when it's a full moon or the rays of the moon sprout them. Vegetation comes here and tides of the sea are explained by the full moon and when the full moon comes, the tides in the sea comes. I think whole astronomical things are explained. Moon is considered as mother, mind, thought, pessimistic and optimistic thoughts both. It denotes the mind of the human being, the inner core of the human being, what he thinks. Pearl, of course, he was among us the pearls. Is a water, he was in the water, so it's a watery planet. And other chemical actions, reactions happening on the earth and equivalently in our body are explained by the moon. In this story, if you see the moon in your chart, I think you can, with the placement of moon, you can understand where your mind is or where your mind was before birth and where it can go with your own thought process. As I explained the moon, can I take this as the left side of the body? your parasympathetic system and the sympathetic system. Moon is the coolest part. If you see your left nostril, I think it gives, it emanates the cool air from your navel to your third eye and crossing onto the right side. See the watery component on the left hand side of the body. See the thought process of the right hand side of the body. You will come to know the role of moon the planet symbolically explained in your body, I can take it as your left eye too.